Before we continue, would you mind subscribing to this channel? We've been doing lots of work, engaging with lots of brands and bringing you the best of everything that's available in the market. We cannot otherwise without your support. We need your support to continue to engage with brands and bring the latest and greatest in tech. Additionally, why we ask for your support is because we specifically ask for discounts for our viewers and they will all be exclusive discounts through my next best. So all we ask is to continue to support the channel this family needs to grow bigger, so we're stronger, better together. So we work with the brands to bring bigger and better discounts for you guys. Thank you so much if you've subscribed. Let's continue. What's up guys, you're watching Monix Best and in this video we've got yet another pretty cool household tech from OneLink. This is a wireless repeater, 1200 Mbps and it's the model WLNES3501. And just before we start, we'd like to mention that this video has been proudly sponsored by OneLink. So let's get started. All right, let me just quickly get rid of the outer package. Okay, so here's the box that we get. Here's the one link branding mentioned over here. 1200 Mbps, wireless repeater, wider coverage. One link, it's got four antennas over here and it's a dual band Wi-Fi repeater. And let's be honest, this is a household tech. Everybody has either used it or have been using it. This one's slightly special. It's got four antennas. It's got like the beam formation and pretty strong signal as well. This one's something that would give you pretty decent speeds. It's got an ethernet port as well. So you can obviously use the wireless to wired setup if you need a dedicated ethernet port to connect to the internet so that's pretty cool and at the bottom we've got some specifications such as through walls high speed strong signal and wired connection so that's the box that you get one link logo on the side at the back you've got quite a few specifications wlne3501 that's the model frequency range is dual band 2.4 gigahertz and 5.18 gigahertz antennas there's four of them four high gain antennas Transmission rate is all listed over here. BG and AC is all that is supported. In terms of physical interface, you get one RJ45 Ethernet port. Here's the rest of it. Power, RF parameters, operating mode, button, and working environment. So just so you know, operating mode, repeater, access point, and a router. So it does support toggling between the different modes. And here's a little picture of the different components of this specific item. The signal indicator, WPS reset button, air vents, and the RG45 van LAN port over here. There's quite a few certifications, UKCA, CE, and FC, and ROHS certification. It's all been mentioned over here. There's EC representation and UK representation, so it's fully certified to be used in the European Union and the UK and US and many other countries as well that support these certifications. There's also this support email one link service at 163.com and the website which is www.szonelink.com and there's the address and stuff it's manufactured in China. There's the UK plug of course there's the UK plug model and yeah there isn't much else around the box so let's quickly open the box and see what we have inside. Maybe this is not the right way. Let me try on this side then. Oh, that's very odd. How do you open this box? There you are. I think I needed to just give it a push, a little tap on the back side and then pull it out. But anyway, we've got the box opened and I can see the repeater already. Let me just pull it out. That's one link for you. Underneath you've got a Probably a guide, how is it? No, no, nothing nothing in the box. That's probably the other side, so I'm gonna get rid of the box. You've got the one link Wi-Fi repeater, you get a LAN cable, and you get also the quick start guide or the quick installation guide. This should cover all the specifics and stuff around this device. So it obviously explains how you use a Wi-Fi repeater and the product structure and the different components that comprise of this product. It's a UK model. It's got air vents and stuff on the sides. And yeah, it can obviously work in different modes. Wi-Fi access point, repeater mode and a router mode. Simple installation steps, that's in the repeater mode. What you need to do, turn on, wait for 60 seconds and connect to Wi-Fi. When the extender is set up for the first time, the config web page pops up. Da -da -da. Go to 192.168.10.1 in the address field and enter the password admin. Click login and then scan and select your Wi-Fi, enter the Wi-Fi password, save settings, da -da -da. add your own the primary Wi-Fi and that should do the job. 
then warm tips and stuff about how you use this device sync your device turn on the option for new wi-fi so that's that there's some q and a's then there's the maintenance regulation and stuff as mentioned over here and let's quickly have a look at the device itself let me get rid of this box okay so here's your wi-fi extender looks pretty cool the antennas are adjustable you can adjust them in different settings four of them so definitely the signal should be fairly strong three of these lights there's a button over here in the front at the back you get a uk plug and all these different certifications and at the back it also explains how you can set it up go to 192.168.10.1 and password which is admin that should get you access to the console and then you can obviously set up your primary wi-fi and then configure this as the repeater so pretty simple pretty simple installation and very useful tool in anyone's armory in at home if you're running out of wi-fi speed or wi-fi range then a repeater does a very good job in general and you get this LAN cable alongside which is about a meter long I think yeah about a meter long LAN cable that you get alongside at the bottom you get the LAN port let's put it to test and see what sort of speeds we're getting right so this device is pretty simple to install what you need to do is you need to basically get on to the Wi-Fi once you've turned it on go to your Wi-Fi settings connect to the Vonlink AB055 5G and that will redirect you to the IP address 192.168.10.1 and that's where you select the Wi-Fi that you have, your existing Wi-Fi which you need to extend and once you've done that, once you select that, there's obviously dual band that is support so it can translate a 2.4 GHz only to a dual band or just a 5 GHz to a dual band as well so you need to just select that specific Wi-Fi network that you have and once you've done that Add the password, whatever password you have, basically the pre-shared key or the password, it's pretty much the same. Combine the Wi-Fi, sync your device, that's what it says, and rescan. Once you've added the password or the pre-shared key as per this setting, you need to save this setting. So it will take another 30 seconds to power cycle and it will restart with the new settings. Now as you can see there's a new network which is a 5G it's a dual band network and then obviously with the 2G and 5G mentioned. So you need to add the new password or the existing password. And as you can see, it's a Wi-Fi 5 with the IP address 192.168.10.1. And as you connect to the internet, for example, I'm just trying to connect to Google. It does, of course, work and it's all good. And if, if you try and connect to the gateway IP of your original router, it'll work. So you can make adjustments to the settings. And now obviously I've ran some internet tests. On this Wi-Fi network the connection is about 70 megabits per second and about uh, 20 megabits per second upload speed. Yeah, it was going about 50 and the upload's obviously going roughly about uh, 17 or something. When I then connected to the main network, it gave me about 70, so 70-ish. And the download was about 18.2-ish, uh, as you can see on the screen, of course. So there is a bit of a drop, I don't know why, but uh, yeah, certainly there is some drop. Um, yeah, I mean, probably owing to the dual band, perhaps probably 2.4 or something, but uh, I could not nail that down. But certainly what I've tested is the Wi-Fi extender. The extender itself does work really well. I did test a few times to essentially see if the network could go out in the garden and stuff. And yeah, certainly it was really well. The connection was pretty strong and it did certainly provide pretty good coverage overall yeah really happy with what this product is able to offer for the price and certainly while you're here on this channel what you'd get is a gift from us there's a hidden code that's available only on amazon so what you need to do is you need to select this item put this in your cart and check out to the end at the end before you check out you know select your card and stuff there's an option to add a code gift card or code whatever so what you need to do is you need to just put in my next best in there in caps and you'd see a 15% discount, so a flat 15% discount slash off of the value of this specific product in your cart. So yeah, that's come straight from the manufacturer and we'd like to thank them for issuing this amazing discount. Hopefully that helps you save a little bit in your next purchase. And with that, that's the end of this video. If you've got any questions or queries, please do feel free to reach out, like this video, share this video and subscribe to my next best. And as always guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Take care, cheers, take it easy.